Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for spending part of your afternoon with me. I'm Jenny Montgomery. Do these look familiar? All the stuff it takes for some of us to get a good night's sleep. Gel caps sometimes, earplugs, because my husband will not go to a sleep lab despite my pleading with him to do so, and my favorite thing, the sleep mask. Nothing disturbs my sleep more than those blue lights and all of our electronics. If you didn't get enough sleep last night, you're not alone. Tens of millions of Americans are sleep deprived, and it might do more harm than you realize. We have smartphones and tablets. We're always doing things with that bright monitor. And bright monitors at night can further delay our clock and make it harder to sleep. Experts at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center say people of all ages don't get enough sleep, and it affects them in very different ways. Going to be talking about that today. Also, a new opportunity for women in the CSRA beginning next week. It's called Ladies Life, and it'll help enhance your personal and professional development through a series of monthly seminars. And step back in time as we explore the Georgia Renaissance Festival. It is great fun for the whole family, and the person responsible for the Queen's Treasury is here in Studio B in costume. You don't want to miss this. But first, she's got an energy that makes you want to be around her, hoping it will rub off. Ahead on Jenny, motivational speaker Priscilla Gary will get you fired up to be your best self. This go-getter is empowering women and helping people find their purpose after the break. I am so excited for our first guest today and have tried for some time to find a gap in her schedule when she could make it here to Studio B. Priscilla Gary is a motivational speaker and ordained minister. She was the National Association of Professional Women's Woman of the Year in 2014 and Augusta Magazine named her one of the top 10 young professionals of 2015, calling her a double threat as both a corporate career woman and an entrepreneur. You are one of a kind. There is no one that can do exactly what you do. Discover yourself. Reach your true potential, not someone else's. Don't desire anyone else's life. Don't desire to be who someone else is. And don't desire to be anything less than or more than who God has made you to be. Love the life that you live. Be you. Be you beautifully. Be you boldly. And be you boundlessly. Priscilla Gary, thank you so much for being here with us today um, and taking part in this conversation. You are um, a very strong woman. You've got a lot of stuff going on. And I want you to talk first of all about, or first of all, I should say, about reaching our destinations and the importance of realizing that we're meant to do things differently. We are not all on the same path. Right, right. So, so that's my sweet spot. That's a great way to kind of open up, right? The, the slogan that I use for Enhanced Career Services, my baby, right, is helping you reach your true potential. And what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Our true potential is unique. It's one of a kind. We've all been created and designed with a specific purpose, right? That word purpose is always thrown around a lot, but it's all connected. Purpose is connected. If you mm -hmm. think about your passions, the things that excite you, the things that, that set your fire, right? Those are a part of who God's created you to be. And so the key is understanding how to tap into that because I believe that systematically, over time, we get conditioned into thinking we have to go to a nine to five job and, and don't get me wrong, we have bills to pay, so we do have to work, but we also have opportunities to tap into other spaces, other places of interest that we have and really be able to live a fulfilling life of prosperity. Not meaning financially, not meaning we're going to be millionaires, but prosperity meaning living that fulfilling, purposeful life. I think you're so right. And when you feel like your life has purpose and you're doing what you were put here to do, mm -hmm. then it is such a cliche, but, but work isn't work, it's your passion. Right. You know, it, and it's just an extension of who you are. And you're doing what you feel like, this, this is me, this is what I do. Right. And it's, it's, um, it's, such a different way of looking about things and I think for me that's what I want for my children you know I want them to have that kind of life mm -hmm. where they they're not just killing time mm -hmm. they, they find what their purpose is and they find their path so that they how do you it. how do you help people do that 
Well, the first thing is to really uh, discover what I call the root cause. What is the root cause of challenges and issues that you face in your life? Oftentimes, it's the dissatisfaction with where we are. We look at people, social media, especially we look at social media and everyone else's life, and we're trying to figure out how to mimic or, or imitate that life. So the first thing is, all right, let's, let's really uncover what's going on with you internally, because what's inside is what always will manifest externally. Once you figure mm -hmm. that part out, then you can erase the dry wash right take, take your eraser and wipe the board clear <laughs> and let's start over what's important to you what matters in your life and then identifying the skills and the talents that you really do have inside of you that you may not have tapped into yet and connect the dots so that you can enjoy your life and not worry about everybody else's I think a great book for that is what color is your parachute right that's right. a really good one to help you do that. Exactly. Um, I also agree so much, and I think that a lot of what's happened in today's society is that we have turned into Facebook yeah. stalkers. Oh we feel like our lives aren't measuring up. Our friends are putting pictures up of where they've been in the world mm -hmm. or what great things their kids mm -hmm. are doing or how popular their kids are. Right. And, and, and too much plays out on social media, but you've got to live your life. That's right. And you've got to appreciate the life that you live, right? But in order to appreciate anything, you have to see value in it. So the first thing is understanding, okay, what, what's good about my life? Oftentimes we forfeit or forget the fact that we are blessed in so many ways. But as you said, we're comparing ourselves to each other. And also we're, we're feeling as though the dreams and the ambition that we had as a child, because we, as children we have that childlike faith, right? That cliche that we use where we thought we could be the next president. We thought we could be the next superstar. And the truth be told, we can be. We're not going to look like those other, in, other individuals that are in those positions, but we can still tap into those same interests that we have. But often, as I said, we get older and we get older, right? <laughs> it's all what the same and we forget about what it really means to still dream and also how to um, activate that faith that we say we have. So. Well, one way that you do that is that you are certainly a mentor to people and you really like to reach out to women. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do that with a new opportunity for women that's starting May 19th. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about that. Yeah, so I got to tell you, I've been getting some, some kickback on that, right? Uh, because the question that's come up is, why is it just for ladies? Because <laughs> I, I, I do uh, tend to work with men and women and, and I appreciate the, the universal gift that I have, right, when it comes to the communication and educating and teaching. But ladies like you know ladies face different challenges than men and so this is an opportunity for ladies to get together and sit down and hang out and we're gonna not just sit in fellowship we're gonna grow together the whole purpose is to give them the same experience and the same opportunities that we uh, women in business typically tend to have you know um, over the years I've been able to not only take part in women's events but also sit on boards and committees behind the scenes and help with the mm -hmm. planning but one thing that I've noticed is that oftentimes these events while they're very purposeful aren't um, accessible to everyday women. If there's a lunch going on, can you go once a month to the luncheon? And if you can get the time off from work, can you pay the 30 or $40 right. to go? That's a challenge. Yeah. And sometimes that leaves women feeling as though they've been ostracized or left out. And so this is my way of giving back to help all of us reach our two, true potential. And I believe that we're going to grow together. I, I always tell people, this is not a me thing. This is a we thing. It's about us coming together, listen to live music. We're going to have music there and food and entertainment and just really have a good time. And hopefully in a few months, we'll cross our fingers on this one, there'll <laughs> even be child care that's going to be be available. So hopefully. So it'll be a monthly event. It will be. In the old chamber building on Broad Street. 600 Broad, yes, ma'am. Every mm -hmm. month on the third Friday from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. And vendors will be there. So vendors can sign up and get very registered good. too. Yeah. Very yeah. good. It's all about getting that exposure and awareness. Terrific. Well, I'm going to have all of this information on the Jenny page on our website. So you can go there and we'll have links for you to click so you can find out more about Priscilla and how you can take part in Ladies Life. And I think we do need to focus attention on ladies. I think that yeah. we are the nurturers mm -hmm. and we are the backbones of so many families right, and we're so busy oftentimes doing for others and making sure that everybody else's needs are met and that the laundry's done and there's food in the fridge mm -hmm. and where's the time for us so I think yeah. something like this is is a great thing for you to be doing. Thank you, thank you. I'm hoping and, and prayerful that this is going to be impactful and, and my prayer is that it's going to outgrow the space that we're in. You know, we've got a limited seating uh, venue right now just to start off small. You have to start small and grow. So I'm hoping that as the months continue that the word will get out 
um, and thank you so much, of course, for helping me with that today. But I'm hoping that women will really take advantage of this. Um, you know, it's all about creating and leveraging opportunities to to expand the horizons and expand the mindset. And that's what, that's what this is all about. It's just expanding. I've been fortunate. I've had people that have looked out for me in the past, and, and so I'm just paying it forward. Paying right? it forward. So when, the, when it's time to pay up, my balance is already paid. <laughs> Priscilla Gary, you are a dynamic young woman. Thank I'm you. so pleased to have you here on the show, and I hope you'll come back again. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you for all you're doing also as a role model in our community. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. We'll be right back. Coming up, a festival for the whole family. Drive a couple of hours in the car and you'll be transported centuries back in time as you stroll through the Georgia Renaissance Fair. Stay with us. Welcome back, everybody. Got an exciting event for the whole family to tell you about. It's a full day of fun, food, entertainment, the Georgia Renaissance Festival, and it's just outside Atlanta. You have three more weekends to scoot up I-20 and check it out. Look at this video. You step inside the gates of Newcastle and find yourself transported back to 16th century England. A 32-acre village is filled with artisan craft shops, endless entertainment, pubs and taverns galore. Talking about turkey legs, libations, loads of good food and drinks. You can watch noble knights battling on horseback in the royal jousting tournament before the queen and her royal court. And we don't have a queen with us today, but we are lucky enough to have a king we shall say. This is John Green and his wife Jenny and we're so happy to have them with us to talk about this 16th century experience that is the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Mm -hmm. And John, um, I'd like to say that you're part of the Queen's Treasury. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you have a very 21st century job, job. Yeah. yes. And, and take some uh, <laughs> criticism for it too sometimes from the patrons. But um, yeah, I uh, keep the ATMs active, which is um, rather important to the festival. It's very important because not everybody wants the plastic. But, no. Yeah, the cash is important. So you, you, it's good you have the ATMs there for you, sure. Well, the craftspeople, uh, they, they don't, a lot of them, they yeah, don't the take crafts, the plastic, right, so they need the right. cash. Yeah. So we have to keep the ATMs full. So. Got to make change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got to be able to do that. And you've participated for a number of years now, like 15 years? 15 years. 15 years we've been involved. And, and, uh, and that means I'm there for the entire festival. And, uh, but it's not, a, it's not hard work. It's actually a lot of fun. Because as you were saying, it's a, it's a family event. And people are happy. It's always right. always nice to be around people <laughs> who are happy, you know. There's none of that off with the head. And, and the, that's a good thing. <laughs> the good thing. guillotine and stuff, not around. <laughs> um, it is exciting also to be able to dress up. You know, Which adults is. love dress up. We do, just like kids do. Right. But I think that that's part of the reason that it's just such a fun atmosphere. And you you're working with people who may be attorneys during the week and then they're a gladiator or whatever on the weekend <laughs> and, uh, even if it isn't quite renaissance that's true it's real escapism and fantasy and a lot of people take it very seriously i mean uh, we have more people who are patrons coming than we have people who are working there that are that are actually you know <laughs> <laughs> in costume and, and you know taking photographs people ask patrons all the time can I take my photo with you and you know, they're just another customer <laughs> and John takes it so seriously that he he has an accent <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only kidding John is from the the Lake District in, in northern England, England. Right. and uh, we're glad that you're here and you have your lovely lady Jenny mm, with you that's right. <laughs> and Jenny you're a nurse yes have you ever had to resuscitate anybody choking on one of those big old turkey legs? And that, and that, <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> or deliver any royal babies? <laughs> so, what do you do? You um, have a particular role down there, or do you just help out John? Well, I, I'm John's personal assistant when I go, and I help him with uh, whatever he needs done. And I, I, I don't mind. It's a lot of fun, and I love to see all the happy people and. Uh, the kids just have a great time. It's just a wonderful event. Well, you, and talking about the kids, um, it is a wonderful learning opportunity it's, for it's, them. Yeah. Um, they had a school, a school wide visit, student, student day. day. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, mm -hmm. 6,500 kids. Wow. From um, Alabama, Florida, Savannah, they all bust them in for the day. 
I think part of it is because it's a school day, <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have to they don't have to count out. But uh, fabulous, uh, you know. Let me ask you this: um, in recent years, with TV shows like um, Game of Thrones mm. and Rain, do you, is there more of an interest or more dressing up? Or have there, you, there's, there is more dressing up, and the other thing that does surprise me, me personally, is the wonder you get from the kids. Because you would think, with the electronic age, mm -hmm. that they'd be a bit jaded, you know, when they come in to, and, and see what's just a set, basically. Yeah. But but the effect is, you know, they come through the door and they're really wow, and and you know that just starts with like mother goose, uh -huh. you know, to me. And yeah. It is. Their their um, the the happiness, and so. There is more dressing up based on what you were said because of uh, all those shows. Well, from the moment you walk in, you see people in elaborate costumes and some some amazing makeup mm -hmm. and the little shows that are going on, jugglers or whatever. And then if you go and you, you see the jousting, yes. the horse riding, oh my gosh, really Beyond cool belief. horse riding skills Beyond we saw. Belief. There's a camel <laughs> ride too. The the camel. Yes, yeah, the, the kids <laughs> with the camel ride. I want to make sure you understand about the uh, the dates that we have left because if you want to go you've only got a few weekends left to do it so let me take a look at the full screen we have for you um, you can take advantage of it May 20th and 21st that is Pirates weekend and June 3rd and 4th is Romance weekend and they tell me there's going to be a big vow renewal on those days for people who want to come so you can take it in through uh, the weekend past Memorial Day and um, it is open Memorial and it's open on Memorial Day, so that's a three-day weekend for you. Yeah, and that's a good day to go because uh, the, it's not quite as busy on Memorial Day. People, I think, tend to think maybe, oh, it'll be crowded, but that's a really good day to go on Memorial Day. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it is going to be a great way to wrap up your event. It's a mm -hmm. yearly thing, mm -hmm. and it's a six weekends, years. 32 years it's going Eight on. Eight weekends. Eight weekends in the spring, mm -hmm. and we are just so happy that you took the time to get over here to Augusta. And, and let us know about it. And I can't encourage you enough to take your family, especially if you have kids. It's a lot of fun. And mm -hmm. I'm Romance weekend. Now that could be something too, just for you and your sweetie. Go and you can do that <laughs> online if you get online. Uh, I think there's a way to register if you do want to. If you want to be in it. Renew your vows. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Thank Good you. to see you both. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Still to come, if you're not getting enough sleep, you may be doing more harm than you know. We'll show you how sleep deprivation impacts you at every stage of your life next on Jenny. We are a sleep deprived nation with nearly 70 million Americans suffering from some form of chronic sleep problem. It happens to people of all ages and losing sleep is doing more damage than you probably realize. Certain things that might trigger us to go see somebody or seek out help would be uh, loud snoring at night that wakes either yourself or a partner up, feeling sleepy during the daytime, inability to maintain sleep that has lasted sort of over a month period of time. My husband started to notice that I was having periods, particularly when I was on my back, where I would stop breathing for 10 to 15 seconds, and he said, you've got to get something done to check this out. For years, Diane Moyer fell into a cycle familiar to many of us. Not long after going to bed, she was right back up trying anything to help her wind down. I wouldn't sleep at all. I couldn't take naps. I couldn't relax enough because I would get so frustrated that I couldn't sleep that I ended up being up all the time. It got bad enough that Diane okay, went to see you? sleep Hi. expert Hi. Dr. Hi. Anissa Doss. Doss says people of all ages suffer from a lack of sleep, but how it impacts us changes throughout our lives. For example, school age children don't always get lethargic. Many get hyperactive, affecting everything from how often they get sick to how well they do in school. It can affect our immune function, so it can be harder to fight off infections sometimes. And then more importantly, it probably affects how we feel during the day, how we can sort of cope and, and how we think. Lack of sleep also impacts a teenager's ability to learn, but it can also cause acne and accidents. A recent study showed teens are at a higher risk for car crashes when they sleep six hours or less. Ideally, teens need just over nine hours, but few get it. Some teens can get about eight and a half and function well, but one study has shown that only 15% of teenagers actually get eight and a half hours of sleep. 
When it comes to adults, the effects are often much worse. Sleep deprivation accumulates and can ultimately lead to serious medical conditions. It can affect our cardiac status. Uh, lack of sleep can affect our blood pressure. It can affect our blood glucose levels. So we need to try to get regular sleep on a regular basis. When we don't, we can pay for it in ways we never expected. A lack of sleep has also been linked to obesity, diabetes, and depression, and it's taking a heavy financial toll on us as well. Sleep-deprived workers cost this country more than $63 billion each year. Dr. Doss also says sleep deprivation has a cumulative effect and you can't recoup it in a single weekend. So stop telling yourself you'll sleep in and catch up. She says it takes several weeks to make up sleep debt. And a quick reminder that this weekend is your last chance to catch Beth Henley's warm-hearted, irreverent, and zany Pulitzer Prize winning play, Crimes of the Heart, at the Fort Gordon Dinner Theater. Karen Brotherton, Nicole Swanson, and Marianne Schwazer star in the show. For more information and to make your reservations, you can call the box office at 706-793-8552. That is all the time we have today. Before we break away to take a nap and start catching up on our sleep deficits, let me thank the vivacious Priscilla Gary for being with us. And also John Green for taking time to leave 16th century England and make his way to Studio B. Be sure to like the Jenny WJBF page when you're on Facebook. And don't forget, you can catch past segments on The Jenny Show on our website, WJBF.com. Have a restful afternoon, everyone, and I'll see you right here next Tuesday at 1230 for Jenny.